ओके गाइस वेलकम बैक टू इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ यू आर हेयर फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम व्हिच सेज दैट द 30 पाउंड ब्लॉक ए इज प्लेस्ड ऑन द टॉप ऑफ टू नेस्टेड स्प्रिंग्स बी एंड सी एंड देन पुश डाउन टू द पोजीशन शोन इफ इट इज देन रिलीज्ड डिटरमाइन द मैक्सिमम हाइट एच टू व्हिच इट विल राइज सो वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस मैक्सिमम हाइट एच that the block will travel from its initial position so this is the initial position this is the final position and as we can see that uh, we have two nested springs the spring c is inside the spring b so both of the springs are nested springs and as we can see from this diagram that the if if this is the initial state uh, of this block a so as we can see that uh, the inner spring is compressed by a distance of 6 inches so since that the inner spring is uh, spring c so we can say that this is sc the compression in spring c let me write that the compression in spring c is 6 inches and the compression in spring b is 4 inches so to find this height h we need to apply the conservation of energy So the, according to the conservation of energy we can write that the kinetic energy at state 1 plus the the potential energy is at state 1 will be equal to the kinetic energy at state 2 plus the potential energy is at state 2 and for the gravitational potential energy we have to define our datum line so let's say that this is this is my datum line uh, this is our datum so here y equals to 0 and in the upward direction the gravitational potential energy is positive since y is positive in the upward direction and y is negative in the downward direction so at state a the block is at rest the initial velocity is 0 so the kinetic energy is 0 so we can say that the kinetic energy at state 1 is 0 plus and uh, here we have two springs and the weight of the block is acting in the downward direction so we have the gravitational energy at state 1 due to the weight plus the elastic potential energy due to spring b so i will write that the elastic potential energy uh, at 1 due to spring b and then we have to write the elastic potential energy at 1 due to spring c and this will be equal to the kinetic energy at state 2 so the uh, the block will come to rest after traveling this much distance maximum height it will come to rest momentarily and then it will fall down so that velocity at point 2 will be zero so the kinetic energy at state 2 is zero and at state 2 the there is no contact of the block with the springs so this means that the elastic put, uh, energies will become zero so the elastic energy at state 2 due to spring b is zero and the elastic potential energy at state 2 due to spring c is equal to zero and we have we will have the gravitational potential energy so let me write that here we have the gravitational potential energy at state 2 now we know that the uh, gravitational potential energy is always equal to w times y so at state 1 uh, we are located at datum right at our reference where y equals to 0 so this means that we g1 the gravitational potential energy is equal to 0 since y is equal to 0 so we have to write w times 0 so this will become 0 so this will become 0 as well now the gravitational potential energy at state 2 will be equal to again w times y and now the distance traveled in the upward direction that is in the positive y direction so that is h so at state 2 y equals to h let me write that y is equal to h so at state 2 the gravitational potential energy will be w times h now this is our equation now uh, we can write that this is 0 plus the gravitational potential energy 0 plus this the elastic potential energy due to spring 1 uh, due to spring b so we will write that 1 divided by 2 kb the stiffness of uh, spring b times the sb square the compression in spring b plus 1 divided by 2 the elastic potential energy of spring c so this is 1 divided by 2 kc and sc square and this will be equal to vg2 which is the gravitational potential energy at state 2 so that is w times 
h. So now we can write, we can put all those values 1 divided by 2, kb is 200, this is 200 given, sb, uh, this is sb, this is sc, the compression in spring c, this is spring c and the outer spring is spring b. So the compression in spring c is 6 inches and the compression in spring b is 4 inches. So this is 4 square plus 1 divided by 2, kc is 100, so this is 100 and sc, sc is 6 square and the weight is 30 and h, we need to find that h. So this is 200 divided by 2, so this is 100 and 100 divided by 2 is 50 and if we divide both sides of equation by 30, we will be able to find that maximum height which is required. So this is 100 into 4 square plus 50 into 6 square divided by 30. So this is 113.33 h is equal to 113.33 inches. So the block will uh, travel uh, distance of 113.33 uh, inches distance in the vertical direction, in the upward direction from its initial state. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope it will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning. Also like this video. Few people want me to solve such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.